I'm not going to lie. I don't really watch the NBA too tough nowadays because I think the NBA sucks. I've been saying that for almost 20 years that the NBA sucks because of how watered down the league has become. I grew up in the 90s in the early double zeros. So I remember how physical the NBA used to be. I remember where a lot of players would fight and not really get suspended unless it's really crossing the line. Now you got players out here flopping and stuff. But at least they're uh, getting suspended for flopping, I, I guess. I don't know. But it's kind of take away the integrity of the NBA. But I did find this out on ESPN yesterday. And this kind of shocked me in a way because I wouldn't think that this would happen. And then when I looked at the stats, I see why it happened. So after 43 games, which is just slightly a little over half a season, the Milwaukee Bucks decided to uh, decided to fire Adrian Griffin. Um, and you'll think, like, why would he get fired from the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, after only half a season? And the Bucks are sporting the second best record in the Eastern Conference, only behind the uh, Boston Celtics. And then they got Damian Lillard, you know, the joint forces with Giannis. And, um, you figure, like, this is the team that's destined to go all the way. If they get past the Celtics, then they're likely going to win it all. So, so yeah, uh, it's, it's really shocking that they did fire um, Adrian Griffin because um, I don't know why, but then I did my research and then I see why. Uh, the defense is just atrocious. I, I, I think if I read it right, uh, they rate 25th in points allowed per game. It's like a hundred something, and don't even like, don't even get me started on like these points that these teams allow per game. It's ridiculous like, how it is nowadays. But yeah, um, they're rate twenty fifth of points allowed. Uh, they're rate dead last or really close to last in defensive turnovers, which means uh, the Milwaukee Bucks have trouble creating turnovers with the defense. No, no, with, yeah, no, they have, no, they can't stop committing turnovers on defense. Well, they can't stop committing turnovers. How are they read it? But, like, they, they rate damn, damn near last in turnovers. I think they are rate, they are officially rate last in free throw percentage allowed. So, apparently, they're fouling the wrong players and sending them, sending them to the free throw line. And just their misfortune, their opponents are making their free throws. If there was, Near if either that was last or they near last in one more category. So yeah, Milwaukee Bucks really have a terrible defense, and if they're going to make the playoffs, obviously got to have some sort of defense to really show up and play and see you can hold your opponents to under a hundred points, maybe even under ninety if you're lucky, you know. Because like you're gonna run into a juggernaut that's um prime the score and you're not going to be able to stop them and that's going to be a downfall I know people are talking about well maybe uh, the Sixers because uh, Joel and B scored 70 points now, I, don't, I don't think they had to worry about the Sixers because uh, the Sixers are cursed uh, as far as I get past the second round and they won't pose a threat but I'm talking about teams like the Celtics you know you know, who are, I would say, slightly better than them. Maybe the Heat, maybe the Knicks, who could sneak up on them when you least suspect it. Don't even get me started on the West when you're talking about the Denver Nuggets, when you're talking about an up-and-coming Minnesota Timberwolves who, who are ready to sharpen their knife and show what they're uh, made of. So, yeah, so, unfortunately, I hate it for Adrian Griffin because, I, you know, like I say, this is this is his first ever head coaching job too, but I guess it goes to show that he got his coaching job a little too early, you know, and the results on defense show, you know, because like you don't 
you don't get you don't have your first head coaching job and have and points the second best record in your conference halfway towards the season you get fired it just it just don't happen you got to really fail catastrophically in one department for that to happen and unfortunately for griffin that was the case so um i did hear uh, not too long ago that uh the milwaukee bucks are targeting doc rivers so that's gonna be re really interesting you know so yeah i hate it for adrian griffin but you know it is what it is you know i wish i do wish him the best where or whatever happens with him moving forward and obviously you don't want to um you don't want to see coaches get fired but sometimes it has to happen and in this case i'm shocked that he got fired at you know posting a 30 and 13 record after the first 43 games having the second best record in eastern conference but i'm not shocked you know you're looking at those numbers on defense so we'll see what happens